My memory is getting worse every day. How bad is it? How bad is what? <laughs> Sorry. Day 28. I slept like a log last night, and by that I mean I was covered in bugs, and someone tried to roll me down a hill. I feel that the expedition so far has been a complete disaster. One by one, the team members are becoming ill, unmotivated, or just plain dead. Parkhurst was bitten by a rather large mosquito. I don't find it very amusing, but the others think it's malarious. Jennings has suffered a massive heat stroke and now labors under the misapprehension that he is a chicken. Under normal circumstances, of course, I would see to it he was given medical attention immediately. But we need the eggs. And my mother-in-law, Mrs. Batface, seems to have been eaten by a tiger sometime during the night. Poor old tiger. According to the map, we are just three short days from Ramalama Ding Dong. And we can only hope the river at Woo Woo Pass is low and calm. Otherwise, my little footsies will get all damp. The sights so far have been mediocre at best. I took photos of the native girls, but they weren't developed. Many an hour has been passed playing cards with the men. The only problem of playing cards in the jungle is there are too many cheaters. I must now retire for the evening, as we have a long and tedious trek ahead of us tomorrow. The natives are going to carry me well over 15 miles. Good night. I'm on the seafood diet. I eat food and then I see it. I mean, I see food and then I eat it. <laughs> I mean, a lot has changed, actually, since I found out my girl is pregnant. My name, address, telephone number. <laughs> but really, don't show her this.
Yes, well, I think charities are quite important, actually, you know, sort of giving back to those who are less fortunate than ourselves. I myself donated a rather large check just the other day to an anti-rape charity. They didn't want to take it at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. Hey, Naven. Marcus. So, uh, got any big plans this weekend? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Let me get. Staying home to beat level 7 of Super Dragon Quest. <laughs> level 7? I'm way past level 7 Spazitron, okay? We're talking level 9, King Weasley's Fortress. Level 7. You're probably not even past the Corridor of Destiny yet. Wolves. Well, uh, some of us don't have time for games. Some of us have more important things. To do? Oh yeah, like watching Superman 4, Quest for Peace? <laughs> no, but uh, if I did it would be with Gwen Chang. Your girlfriend from Indochina? She is my girlfriend, and we watch movies together online all the time. Has anyone even ever met this fembot? Uh, she lives in Indochina? What, you think she can just teleport herself over here? <laughs> she probably looks like a Wookiee. <laughs> You shut your mouth about Gwen Chang. She's ten times hotter than any girl you could ever get a hold of. Please, let's just examine the facts, shall we? I'm a vanquisher in D&D, &D. I'm fluent in Klingon, and people tell me I look like a young Scott Bakula with glasses. Yeah, well, Ziggy said there's a 99% chance you're an idiot. Good one, Salacious Dumb. At any rate, I've been beating him off with a stick. Metaphorically, of course, otherwise that would be assault. <laughs> What? Jessica Fawn! By the Chronicles of Narnia, she makes Scarlett Johansson look like Rosie O'Donnell. Now's your champ, hot shot. Huh? Put your money where your mouth is. What are you talking about? We say you've been beating him off with a stick. Metaphorically. Yeah, well, I was referring to uh, female earthlings, not Aphrodite, the love goddess. What? What? 
Oh, like that's really mature jazzercise. What? 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 Fine, fine. You're, you're on. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Nathan! Oh, just just your fawn. I didn't uh, didn't see you there. How are you? Me? Oh, fine, fine, fine. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. That's good. That's good. I I I always uh, always say it's better to be fine than uh, not fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you finish uh, Mr. Haney's homework? Oh yeah, I finished it already. Um, logarithms are something of a hobby of mine. I wish I could find someone like you to tutor me. Oh, well, uh, if you like, I could probably uh, find someone to help you. Oh, thank you. It's no problem, really. So, um... I was wondering, uh, well, that is, I was thinking, if you were possibly free some time, if you would, uh, want to go out, uh, with me, that is. I'd love to. You would? <laughs> but... But? But, I have to house sit all this weekend because my parents are going to be gone. Ah, well, if, if you got a house sit, you got a house sit. But that means I'll have the place all to myself. Oh man, that sounds totally boring. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I plan to take a bubble bath, make some snacks, play my music as loud as I can, and maybe even dance around a man door. Psh, get out of town. Why not? I gotta cut loose every once in a while. Don't you ever cut loose, Steven? Oh yeah, one time, just as a prank. My mom was out of town. I emptied a whole box of Lucky Charms and took out just the marshmallow pieces. <laughs> it was hilarious. Until she grabbed me for a month. Yeah, or I might watch a zombie movie tonight. There's a marathon on. You like zombie movies? Oh yeah, I love them, but they scare me. I hate watching them by myself. Yeah, I know what you mean. I uh, rented a zombie slumber party once and I was like, Mom, you're probably going to need to stick around for this one. <laughs> well, you're into video games, right? <laughs> Is the rate of gravitational acceleration 9.8 meters per second squared? Oh, have you heard of the new Embassy Quest game? Only that it's awesome. Me too. Maybe I'll rent that tonight. But I heard it's a lot more fun playing multiplayer instead of single player. But I guess I'll have to play alone tonight. Ah, oh, well, that's no problem. Yeah? Just play with the AI bot as your team member. Oh. It, it makes the game much more challenging. Oh, I think that's my ride. I probably should be going, Nathan. Oh, okay. I'll see you later? Sure, yeah. Well, just in case you change your mind, here's my address. Okay. Bye. Bye.